Well, welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to do a reading about you, okay? What you need to learn. Nothing about love, just what spirit wants you to know, the collective, okay? So sit back and let's see what you need to know. I do swear, so if you don't want to hear me swear, if you're new to the channel, I suggest you go somewhere else. For my returning lovely, lovely subscribers, welcome back, bitches and motherfuckers, because we got a lot of motherfuckers watching this as well, and a couple of you are wishy-washy, but... What is it that the collective needs to know, Spirit? What is their guidance and message in this time? Because I feel the energy is very, do you know what I mean? Very heavy at the moment. What does the collective need to know, Spirit? You've been left out in the cold. There's this feeling of emptiness, this feeling of, I don't know what I'm doing, Betty. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I've lost everything. This is not a loss of money, relationships. It's a loss of you as a person, you as a soul. You don't know where you're going. This, this emptiness, this numbness inside of you. And this has been going on for a while. I'd say the last couple of months, to be fair. You're just kind of wandering around not knowing what you're doing, living in this constant state of numbness, I think is, is, is the correct term. What's the point? You're questioning everything. You, I don't even want to go there, but some of you are really questioning life in, in itself. What's the point? Tell me more, Spirit. Quite a heavy energy. What Spirit's kind of saying is, even though you are feeling like this, you need to try and see things from a different perspective. Some of you have tried a lot of different things, some unhealthy patterns, dating, sleeping around, drugs, alcohol, entertainment of things that you shouldn't be really doing. Um... But I feel that there is a new beginning kind of waiting for you. And I feel that you guys can somehow feeling this, but it's taking so long that you are losing the will to live in some cases. Whatever this loss was, this emptiness is really, really hitting you hard. I feel that you guys have lost, for a lot of you, you have lost your... How do I say this? Lost yourselves as 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 a person. This is not who you used to be. You used to be this vibrant, exciting, full of life. You know, it's kind of like it's quite a dark energy. Um, and although I've got a card here, kind of like spirits, like but there's a new beginning. Keep going. Keep hanging on. A lot of yous are done with this. There's a sense of I've done everything, I've done my healing, I've done my work, I'm doing really hard at work and nothing's progressing, nothing's working with the kids, this relationship's not going anywhere, this motherfucker hasn't called. When are my rewards going to come in? When is it going to be me? You know, this kind of dark kind of energy of when is my life going to start again? In the last couple of days, something significantly happened to you that has made you just want to go to bed, not do anything, not want to go to work, not want to talk to anybody. Very hermit kind of energy is what I'm picking up for you guys. A lot of you are led by your head um, and you have kind of switched off your emotions. Like I said, there's a sense of numbness, no feeling whatsoever. And it's a very sad kind of energy that I'm picking up. I feel things will start to change a little bit more in summertime, but you're looking at a couple of months of this bullshit energy. You need to start reaching out to friends and family, but I don't think you guys have the strength to do that. A lot of men mental health is a very strong thing here. You're worried too much about something. There's too much going on in your head. 
some of you don't like where you are living you don't like the situation you're in you're being some of you are being abused whether it's emotionally physically or mentally and and you just want to get the fuck out but you don't know how to get the fuck out because this is all you've known um i want to kind of try and clarify a little bit of this mental anguish here i'm just left out in the cold some of you might have lost a job here as well you took a risk here is what i'm getting you took a risk you took a gamble here you might have even you might even have taken a risk either in a relationship and it just did not end very well. Whatever this was really did not go to plan. It was very exciting in the beginning, but then it all kind of went tits up, basically. And now you are in this depressive kind of seeking. That's, that's the correct word, spirit. You're seeking home. You're trying to find home somehow, you know? But... You don't understand that home is within. Does that make sense? You need to find that within yourself. Okay, it's quite depressing, if I'm honest. You guys are really in a in this dark place. I don't I don't want I don't want to see you guys like that. What the hell's going on? Spirit, what's going on with the collective? Because they are really down are depressed tired wanting to end relationships feeling stuck being manipulated a lot of yous are crying not being able to sleep binge eating not eating you, you know the things that used to make you happy they're all gone spirit what the fuck is going on with the collective You guys have been through so much. This is your last straw. The amount of bullshit you guys, to be fair, I don't know how you guys made it this far. Obviously, this is not going to be for everybody. It's going to be okay. It really is. The sun is literally going to come out. And whatever you're going through at the moment, spirit is, it's kind of like, I don't understand where this is coming from. You want to know what love is? This is about love. This is somebody in your life that really fucked you up. And you are still in this situation. You're waiting for the sunshine to come out. But you've been through so much. You already understand this pattern. But you're still going. And what Spirit is trying to say to you. Is that this burden that you are carrying right now. And even though you've been through so much. They want you to know that you can keep going. And you should keep going. Please, please. I know somebody needs to hear this right now. The sun is coming out. Okay. Do not give up. I know you're going through a tough time. I saw it in the cards. I definitely need to upload this because I, I feel somebody needs to hear this. I feel there's been a, a massive betrayal here, either from friends, family, third party, and this is something that was unexpected. Someone fucked you over to the point that you have lost yourself. You don't believe in love. You don't want to live anymore. And I'm sorry for being that blunt and honest, but that's what I'm seeing. Such a dark energy. So much sadness. So much depression. But Spirit is saying to you, you have the strength to keep going and they want you to keep going do not fucking give up do not give up you are left out in the cold at the moment you feel like i said it's just really a spiritual lesson oh really universe 
this hard? You're really fucking these people up this bad? Why? Why are you doing this? What's the what is the purpose? Why are why? Why is the collective why? The sun. They really want you to know if you're gonna take anything from this reading is the fact that this sun is coming, happiness is coming to you, wish fulfillment is coming to you. They are preparing you for the sun. Hang in there. Okay. At the moment it might feel that things aren't going forward and they're not going back it's just you wake up in the morning have your coffee you go to work do you know what i mean this this fucking bullshit routine that you're in at the moment and it feels like you're not going anywhere but spirit's like you are trust the process this is getting you to a good place fuck me this was a this was i don't know what you went through but whatever this is really fucked you up. And they're not telling you what it is. Spirit, tell me what this was. What made the collective be in this state? Is it love? Is it money? What is this? It was a motherfucker. Of course it was. What about this motherfucker? What about this motherfucker? What a strong connection. What a strong connection. This motherfucking narcissistic man child of a cunt. Fuck boy prick. Narcissistic. Honestly, this person ruined you. Ruined you. I don't know if there's a divorce here or there was a divorce here. But this person fucked you up big time. But I know you don't want to, I know you don't want to hear this, but this was a lesson. This was a fucking lesson. Now, you might not want to know this, and I do feel that this was a past connection as well. And this, this is coming from the past. The, you share a very strong connection with this person. But this person had to have everything how they wanted it, okay? Um, you couldn't have a say. It wasn't fair to you. You you did everything with this person. Like, I'm talking everything. I'm not even going to judge you for doing that. And look, again, the pain. And you're hanging on, waiting for happiness. But bitch, let me tell you something. The only way you're going to get this happiness is if you keep moving forward. Again, I do feel there's a reconciliation here, or this person has probably moved on to somebody else. Somebody from work, somebody that has been around their life all the time. I don't know if you were the third party. For some of you, you were the other person, and they gave you false promises because they're being wishy-washy and all stuck in their head, waiting for things to change rather than actually making the changes necessary. This was a soulmate also kind of connection or it felt like a soulmate connection to you, which by them leaving or by you ending this has left you in this place of nasty, horrible kind of feeling, honestly. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like this energy. Um, I'm going to try and pull some more because it just feels so negative. And I'm trying to get some, let me just change, change the music here. Um, let me see what else you need to know. You guys, honestly, I'm absolutely exhausted. Is, is this your energy? You guys are fucking tired. I'm tired. I just want to say to you guys. There's a lot of you out there that watch me and and I know a lot of you look up to me and, and, and all of this shit and you expect all my readings to come up and it's all love and dovey. Well, you don't expect that from me. But what I'm trying to say to you, what, what Spirit is trying to say is they see you. They see you dealing with this pain. They see you crying even though no one else is crying. 
they see you crying into your pillow. They see you looking at those photos. They see you shouting into that pillow. They see you crying in your car and wiping away your tears, putting on that makeup and just pretending everything's okay. And they want you to know that you are going to be okay. You need to continue that strength because this is making you into the person that you're supposed to be. And whatever happened, whatever this was, it has nothing to do with you as a soul. Okay? So please don't take it personal. Eight. I keep saying this. I really keep saying this. And I don't know how many times I need to say this. But everything happens for a reason. And you needed to be broken down. Whatever you were doing prior to all of this bullshit hitting you. It just wasn't for you. I mean, the red flags were there. Your gut feeling was there. But you decided to go against it and not listen. And what happens is when we don't listen, the universe comes in. And they don't, they don't teach us nicely. You are going through a shift in yourself. So this feeling of being lost, I feel, is kind of starting to make sense a little bit. You're going through this ego death. And this is why you don't know where you're going, who you are. Because that's not going to be you anymore. You are transforming into a different person. Going in a different direction. You might have lost friends, family, relationships. But trust me, whatever has gone wasn't serving you anywhere. Look, letting go. You need to learn to let go and surrender to this ego death that's going on. You're going through a massive transformation at the moment. And this is why you feel the way you are. The, the way you were going wasn't right. Okay, it might have felt comfortable, it might have felt like something that you thought was all right for you, but deep down you knew that things were changing. And for some of you guys, you were talking to your spirit guys, asking for change, asking for things to, to get better. And, you know, here it is, here it is, you know. And in order to get to that sun, you're going to have to go through a lot of shit. You're going through growth. There's going to be new opportunities. Like I said, that sun's going to come out. But while you're dealing with this, you're going to have to have a shitload of strength. The thing is, a lot of you guys are still dealing and very much stuck in the past, not wanting to release your old self, not wanting to release old patterns, old memories. You cannot move forward when the universe is trying to drag your ass forward, when you're not allowing the past to go. You need to let that shit go in order to go forward and get to that sum. It's it's right there. It's right there. Your happiness is literally around the corner, but you're not allowing yourself to let go. You're not waking up. You're not waking up to reality, and they want you to, to wake the fuck up. Whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to is what's hurting you. You're trapped in your head. You're, you're trapped in your thoughts and your feelings, and this is... This is what's keeping you in this in this in this dark fucking energy. The world. What did I say? Karmic completion. You. You. It's. It's going to be done very soon. As long as you decide to stop, this cycle is done, and then you got a new cycle. Then you got a new cycle coming towards you. Let's see what this new cycle is. Okay, let's try and get some good news here, Spirit, because this is a bit dark. So what is coming for the collective? Because we know they're all fucked up. Okay, you've done a good job of that. Although we can't just blame the universe. You weren't listening. You weren't listening, so they step in, you know. Okay, it's so for your own benefit. I know you can't see it now, but it is. What is coming for the collective? What is coming ahead after all this bullshit? What can they look forward to, Spirit? What is coming for them? What is coming for them? We've got massive beginnings when it comes to stability, okay? Solid new beginnings. This could be a home, a car, money. I'm talking solid new beginnings.
Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. I can't tell them that. I cannot tell them that. Fuck my life. How the fuck are they supposed to move on when you keep bringing this motherfucker back into their lives? Honestly, guys, I don't understand it. <laughs> After all that fucking negative bullshit that I told you, you know, and you need to let go. The universe wants you to let go, to move forward. Good things are coming, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you fucking said it. What's coming? What's coming? You know what's coming? That toxic motherfucking asshole that keeps going back and forth, not actually fucking doing anything with your life, is coming back in. Coming back in. And they're kind of like, well, you're going to have to have the strength. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? No, I want to fucking know why. They deserve better than this fucking bullshit after what you're fucking causing them in the first place. Oh, but they need to let go. Bitch, I'm not having an argument with you now. It's too late. Why? Why are you sending this person back to them? Why? They're not good. Why do you keep sending them back? Why do you keep doing this so you can end it? Make it make sense. You're not making sense, Spirit, so they can end it. What do you mean so they can fucking end it? Because this person comes in and emotionally manipulates you and you need to learn to end it. Well, well then let them just not come back in. Surely you can step in while I'm having a conversation with them. Why am I having a conversation with them? What they're saying is you are spiritually aware, but you're, leave, you're living in this deluded state that you think you can deal with this. You think you can change this. You think you have mastered your emotions. You think that this is going to be worth it. But honestly, I'm, I don't know who's more pissed off, you guys or me, that the spirit keeps doing this to you guys. They can't move on and heal if you keep sending the same cunt back to them. You need to learn to trust your into. The lesson here is they're going to send this person back to you so you can end it because they know that you're the high priestess here. You know better. So it's kind of like you need to prove to them that you are actually done, done because you're just saying it out your fucking mouth and they want proof that you're actually done. So they keep this is like a test, you know, to see how fucking stupid you are or if you actually want to move on or not because you are lying to yourself this is an illusion you're not seeing the whole truth because this guy whoever this the guy girl whoever the fuck this is penguin whoever the fuck you're dealing with honestly they are so good with their emotions so good with manipulating you and saying all the right things blah 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 but you know they're full of shit you know in spirit knows that you know so they kind of keep doing it to see how far you're gonna go don't go there. I'm telling you now, it's going to end in heartbreak again. Okay? It's going to end in heartbreak again. I don't know why they keep fucking doing this to you. Right, Spirit, anything good coming? Okay? So if they don't take them back. Because I know a lot of these, these motherfuckers are done. Trust me, from the energy I picked up from these cards, these bitches are done. Done. What's going to happen without this fucking bullshit of this motherfucker coming back? What else can they look forward to, Spirit? I can't re end a fucking reading like this. What can they look forward to moving forward? Gaining control of your own life. Knowing your fucking self-worth. Knowing that you are the fucking bitch. You do not need any motherfucker. You don't. You fucking don't. You don't need anybody. Look at that. Ready with your sword to put justice, put your boundaries in fucking place. Get your money fucking sorted. For some of you, you don't even fucking need the money. It's already there. But why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Look at that. Sunshine. This is the happiness. Okay, I see what you're trying to do here. Listen, I'm not going to lie. Universe is fucking with you right now. They are not giving you a break. Okay, you know how some people just have an easy life. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Some people just have it fucking easy, you know. They have a little bit of a setback and then they get back on it and things seem to be okay. No, you motherfuckers. You have had to have this life, from what I can see. You have gone through so much, right? Hit over, hit over, blow over, blow, and you keep coming back up. The thing is. 
they keep giving you this lesson. They keep giving you difficulties in life because they know you can handle it. I know it's not fair. I know it's not fair. The thing is, you can handle this. And from what I've seen, you are handling it, but you keep making the same fucking mistake. Just because you can handle something and just because... <laughs> Just because you understand something as well does not mean you have to accept it. You're not doing that. You keep repeating the same fucking mistake. Okay. Let's see what you guys need to know when it comes to love. I know I said nothing about love, but why the fuck not? Because I feel that this motherfucker is one of your biggest problems here oh you don't want to talk now you're being silent you might be no contact why aren't you talking why do you not want to say anything to me your person is stubborn honestly fucking stubborn stupidly stubborn may I add this person ain't intelligent at all for some of you Look at him, not talking. Nope, not saying anything. Okay, why do you not want to talk then? Say, why? Why do you not want to say anything? Not talking. You fucking around with somebody else? You fuck are you fucking around with somebody else, masculine? Is that what you're fucking doing? Is that why you don't want to talk? Can you not talk? Does the wife not let you talk? Well, why? Why? Why aren't you talking? I can't make this shit up. They, they, they can't. One more time. Masculine, I'm giving you an opportunity here. What do you want them to know? Because you're causing a massive problem here. What do you what do they what do you want them to know? I can't fucking believe it. One more time. I mean I did say it was in a love reading. One more time, masculine. What do you want them to know? you mean by family is that all you're saying wedding your person like i said third party might already be married okay that's a whole this is very specific your person the reason they are not talking is because they're married they've got family they can't talk to you bench anything else because obviously this is not going to be for everybody there's thousands of people watching this any other masculines want to fucking say something? Because you're all fucking quiet. But when it comes in for you, some wand energy, you have a lot of shit to say. Did you want to come out or are you just fucking with me? Yeah, do you know what? I understand why you guys are all fucked up. These are losers. Manipulative cheating anxious honestly players I, I get it i get why they want to keep their mouth shut because they've got somebody else in or somebody else there bottom of the deck i do have for some of you not for all of you very little maybe a hundred of you guys there there is some sort of reconciliation here that's unexpected but that wasn't a love reading anyway um i don't know how i feel about this reading if i'm honest i don't even know if i'm gonna fucking up upload it it's just so negative and but that's how that's how you guys are feeling i mean i can't fucking pull cars out my fucking asshole and just make them up you know what's the last any last words for the collective please sir? any last words for the collective any last words for the collective 
guidance for them moving forward spirit what is the guidance you have for them moving forward guidance for them moving forward changes are coming changes are coming but stick to your boundaries okay stick to your boundaries the clarity that you need, you have already gotten it. And this is why you feel so shitty within yourself. But be patient with yourselves. Be very patient. Please don't feel that you are alone. Better days are definitely coming. And this is just a cycle that once you surrender and let go, the sun will come out. And this is over. Okay. So, yeah. That was your fucking reading. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. So I think I'm picking up on your guys' energy. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.